Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my bathroom. As you can see by what's going on on my head. Today is a wash and go day and I will present to you my current wash and go routine. Along with my favorite products that I like to use, my favorite accessories and so on and so forth. I am wearing a body glove bathing suit just because I feel it's easier with these shower videos. I'll take you through my wash routine, conditioning. I won't be doing a deep conditioning today as I mean I probably should but just for time I could kind of film a lot of other things, you know? And more importantly, out of this video, you will see my styling routine. I primarily use the Aquas towel, and I recently discovered a way to use that will yield beautiful results. I've been playing with it for a couple of months, using it before I apply my style products, using it after applying my styling products and I finally figured out a way that it leaves my hair just beautifully lush, soft, shiny, and Defined. So if you want to see all the steps in my current wash and go routine and the products that I've used, then please keep on watching. Hair is wet, let's get started. Going in with Diva Curls Wash Day Wonder as my shampoo prep and I apply this to my two huge sections, making sure that product runs through. I use my fingers to partition my hair into four parts more or less so I could get that shampoo into the scalp. And these are my two current favorites between Natural Club and Diva Curls Decadence No Poo. And today I went in with the Decadence No Poo. I just love the texture of it, very creamy, very smooth, and allows me to comb through my curls very easily and with the wash day wonder it is a breeze and I like to partition in sections so I have an easier time getting the poo or should say no poo into my scalp I could finger rake through without any issues and get to my scalp easily Oh, and my favorite part, getting through the crown of my head. I use my fingers and gently just break them through, not crazily, because later on when I get to the comb, it won't be as tangled and it'll be a smoother comb through. My two current favorite conditioners, the One Condition Decadence and Natural Club Hydrating Conditioner, going in with the Natural Club today, still with my two huge sections, and because we detangled mostly in the shampoo step, the conditioning step is a breeze. Smooth, and this formula, one of my favorites listed for 2018, is incredibly detangling, has amazing slip, and just makes it easy to use my fingers. But if I had to go in with the comb, it will be the wee dad one. I start at the end and work my way up towards the scalp and I take my time here in conjunction with my fingers and if I meet a spot that needs a little more conditioner, I just grab more conditioner. Before I was worried about, oh, I put in too much product in my hair, it's gonna go to waste. No, it's that's just the reality of it, friends. I have a lot of hair and I need a lot of product, especially conditioner. If it's gonna help detangle and prevent breakage, then that's what I'm gonna do. And we repeat that whole process on the other side, again, starting from the end, working my way slowly up the root. And if I think it necessary to further partition my hair to ensure easier detangling and less breakage, then that's what I do. And taking the opportunity here with the conditioning of my hair, just finding the middle part, and we rinse that out and move into styling. Applying Diva Curls Leave-In Decadence, around three pumps of it to soaking wet hair on my two sections, and I finger rake that through. Going in now with Natural Club's Avocado Curl Custard, a huge amount to each section, and I finger rake that through, making sure it's evenly distributed through my hair, especially the undersides, the top towards the crown, and the sides and front. Then I take my Aquas Hair Turn and the inside of it I just gently squeeze out the excess product and because of the towels technology it will not disrupt the hair or take off too much product and leave it just right all right we are done not completely dried I would say maybe 80% dried the parts that take longest to dry are here near the crown of my head but i wanted to show you a close-up of how the curl custard from natural club looks i juggle between natural clubs curl custard and david curls super stretch if i were to present the immediate differences that come to mind between the two stylers the super stretch definitely gives me a little more plump slightly more body and the curl custard leaves me looking a little 
stringy and also it creates more of a cast what i do to break the cast up a little bit and also even with the super stretch i'll combine my kenza moroccan oils repairing hair treatment and strengthening serum i take a little bit of the treatment which is like a clear type of liquid consistency it's really hard to show on camera because if i tried to it's just gonna fall out of my hand oh god so much but that's what it looks like uh mixed together and then i take it through my hair to boost the shine to break apart the cast a little bit and ideally too i would take my diffuser because the heat not all the way of course just set to medium kind of helps soften the hair a little bit breaks apart the cast a touch more and i feel it gives the hair overall a really nice shape and also i think it dried extra fluffy today because my hair wasn't as soaky wet as it is if i'm staying in the shower i got out of the shower to turn on the camera so even that little bit of time my hair starts to dry and then when i zhuzh through the product in that soaking wet hair i then take the aquas towel and take out the majority of the product i thought that was so silly for me to do months ago because i'm like i'm applying so much product and then i'm squeezing it out like but it actually helps a lot before i was taking the majority of the water out and then sectioning styling with my products i like as well both routines serve a purpose i do think the fastest way for me to get my hair styled in a wash and go setting is to apply the product in shower in my huge two sections that you saw judge it through and then i take the aquas towel to squeeze the rest of the product the way the towel is designed makes it so that your hair does not dry frizzy and the products stay in you see that even though we squeeze a lot of the product out the, a lot of the product still remained on the hair so I was able to style my curls well they look defined but then there's still volume shape and movements I love how it falls I love the shape of it and I've been doing this now for a few weeks and I actually really love the results when I use my aquas towel versus like even a microfiber towel that I now use just for my makeup brush I do feel the fibers in the aquas towel make a difference. I did sponsored videos with them, but I've been using them for ever since they reached out to me and it's played a vital role in how well my hair looks styled and the health of it overall has improved. So this is what I'm gonna keep doing, friends. This has been my current wash and go routine uh, and the products that you saw, I basically rotate through, whether it's Diva Curl or Natural Club. Yes, I am an affiliate for both brands and I pretty much only become an affiliate with the brand that I. I use the products of extensively and I've used Diva Curl for a long time. I love their decadence line, their wash day wonder. It is like a godsend. It really helps eliminate the tangles and just makes my washing experience easy and a breeze and the super stretch cream they were really nice enough to send me another jar but before that jar and the initial jar that they sent to me when that first product was released i bought one myself from sephora i think like in november i love that freaking stuff i love the scent i love the texture i love how it makes my hair look how it makes it feel the way it styles the way it shapes my curls i do love natural clubs curl custard better when i apply it on super soaking wet hair and then i squeeze it out with my aquas towel before i was having a hard time with it because i just did not like the smell and i still don't i think it's very potent and it smells like like an intense type of sandalwood but because i squeeze out the majority of the product i don't smell it around me now and it makes it for a much better experience for my nostrils thank god and of course applying your favorite styling oil or finisher i feel will help kind of eliminate the smell of the curl custard from natural club they're coming out with a new product i don't know by the time when this video will be uploaded if it would be out already but i'm gonna keep an eye out because not to say that i don't like natural club products i love the formulas but the scents for their styling products are like ugh. their deep conditioner amazing i actually have to use it shame on me i haven't been deep conditioning as i said i was going to i'm such a bad naturalista but anyway friends let me know what your favorite products have been what your favorite routines have been techniques and we'll take it from there and that my friends is a wrap thank you all so much for watching i hope this video helped and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and until then i'll see you in here again with another chit chat demo tutorial or review take care and i'll see you again soon